Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is Leanne here and today I'm talking to you about ditching those scales in the bathroom and here's why. So this video is specifically good for those of you, for example, that have said or are saying that you want to lose weight or you want to release body fat or you want to drop a dress size, however you want to word it. Now, the reason why we say ditch the scales is because number one, when we get on that scale, it doesn't actually tell us well, some of these scales do, but the general scales, if you're going by the total weight, for example, 80 kilos, 60 kilos, that is saying that you are, you know, you weigh 80 kilos of muscle, bone, water, um, tendons, ligaments, blood, skin, that's everything, all right? Now, we don't want to lose the muscle mass. We don't want to lose the blood, the water, etc. So I really would ditch the scales. I'm going to show you a better way of how you can keep track of, you know, basically getting to that dress size that you really want. The other thing is with weighing, a lot of people get stuck on a number. So they might say, oh yeah, I really want to be um, 60 kilos, okay? But the thing is, muscle weighs more than body fat. So actually, depending what your weight is in the first place, let's say you want to drop one dress size but you want to get a little bit stronger in your body why wouldn't you i think most of us would you may end up weighing the same or you may end up even weighing more i'm talking about total body weight so honestly i would really ditch the scales and the other reason the third reason why i would ditch them is because some people get obsessed with it so they'll be weighing themselves every week and when they don't see that number change or how they want it to change they start to get you know a little bit disheartened and it can be demotivating so honestly ditch the scales it's one of the worst ways it doesn't tell you anything it doesn't tell you how much body fat you have or how much muscle mass all right there's one exception unless you do have scales and you need to really i would invest in a good pair otherwise um they're not always that accurate I, you know, if you invest in these type of scales that do show you the muscle mass, the body fat, the water percent, then that's a little bit different. But otherwise, if you've got general scales, bin them, give them to the next door neighbor, okay? So here's what I would love for you to do instead. So here's one way that you can gauge your progress. Now I would go by body measurements, all right? So again, let's go back to imagining that you wanted to drop a, drop, blah, drop a dress size. I would go by measurements, okay? You can measure your chest area, your navel area, around your hips, around your glutes, whatever area it is that you really want to work on. That is one way of telling. But to be honest, the next way that I'm about to tell you is one of the best ways. Go by how your clothes feel. So if you're putting your size 12 jeans on or your size 10 jeans on and they start to feel loose, that is a great indicator. That means you're going in the right direction, okay? Now, of course, as long as you're eating well and your nutrition is right, in other words, you're, you know, you are portion controlling, you're eating at the right times, you're having the right uh, portions of proteins, natural fats and carbohydrates, you're drinking enough and you are decreasing a dress size, so we're going to assume that it is the body fat that you are releasing because that's what we do want to release. We want to keep up our muscle mass, that weighs more, but we want to keep that up to keep us nice and strong and also, by the way, the more muscle mass we have, the more calories we burn at rest. That's a win-win, isn't it there? The other way, take photos. This is fantastic because the photos are not going to lie. They are going to show you the definition. You'll be able to, you know, you'll start to see um, your abs come through. Whatever it is that you want to work on, you will really be able to see the change in your body by doing the photos. And I would take three different types Front on, you can just wear, you know, a crop top, ladies, and short shorts, or guys, just your shorts. A front photo, one of you at the side, and then I would go to the back as well. Get someone to take a photo of you, full length. Um, and again, I would maybe come back in 12 weeks time and redo the measurements, um, redo the photos, all right? Don't, <laughs> don't be doing photos every week because it takes time to be able to change and transform. My final tip is, when you are on a journey of achieving a fitness goal, whether that's dropping a dress size, releasing body fat, whatever it is that you know, you, you, you're aiming at, we always forget about the things that we can't physically see, all right? So focus, rather than focusing on the scales, we've ditched them, the next door neighbor's got them now. Focus on the hidden things, all right? I call them the invisible wins. This is things like how you're feeling, how your energy levels are, 
how great you feel when you get out of bed, all right? Um, how your self image is, how has your confidence changed? How much stronger you feel when you run up the stairs now, whereas before you was out of breath getting to the top? How's your flexibility? All these kind of things we almost forget about, all right? So it's not just about what we see in the mirror. Remember, it's about how we feel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tips like this on health and wellness.